Hello everyone and welcome to Season Watch. Today we're watching Comey Can Communicate, Episode 21. Yeah. Or if you're just separating by 4, it's... Episode 9. Yeah. Okay, so what happened last time? We had the beginning of the field trip to Tokyo. So... They were paired up in groups, in trios actually as they were boarding the train so some of the groups that i remember were naka naka with yamai and agari agari poor girl just in the middle of the two fighting we had komi with two new characters i don't quite remember the names because they didn't leave much impression after this first skit Yeah, I kind of forgot. I did remember last time, but I already did. Um, some of the other groups were expected, such as the boys. We had Nene with Kai Kaori, Kaede, Kaori, I think. And we all, with them, we also had the country girl, Odori, I think was her name. Um, uh, Yadano was with some other people. I <clears throat> I also don't know know their names. Tadano was with Takai and Nadis. I expected that, but surprisingly, Nadis Nadis was. More invested in the group than I expected. Because if we skip ahead to later on in the bath scenes, like he just passing the body lotion or whatever it was to Takai, even though Takai didn't even ask. He just noticed Takai was missing it. And like, hey, you're good. You you use it. And they just Took some photos together. The the delinquent group, which was sharing a room with them, also decided to jump in there. And Tadano was one taking fo photos. At first, he wasn't really into it, but he started to get more and more enjoyment out of it. Like, you move over here, you pose differently, and just taking the shots. Like, <laughs> they were having fun, and that's all that matters. Meanwhile, on the girl side, Yamai, it was just trying to feel up Komi, and Komi just felt uncomfortable and just rejected that. And there was also the scene before heading to the bath with Komi, Agari, and Nene about their sizes. Um, but now let's jump back a little, because now we're jumping around, thanks to that comment about Nadison. So, the bus guy, she was trying to keep it together, talking to everyone, but everyone's very unique and rambunctious there, so kind of hard to keep it under control. She was trying, but each one with their unique trait just throwing out of left field, throwing to the right, throwing out, like, just a mess. But... In the middle of this mess, we have one normal person. I don't know. That actually listened to her. And was talking about it with Komi. And that reminded her of her young self. And why she inspired to be a bus guy. Just one person to listen. You're doing your job. And she even started shipping out of with Komi later, too. Um, okay, so we have those. Yeah, I think all that's left, the pillow fight, and then, or the girls are fighting, 
almost just in the corner trying to participate but not really get involved because she had no pillows and nobody was throwing at her except one person Najmi which for some reason wasn't there I still don't know what group Najmi is in neither Najmi or Kumitani I do not know what group the two of those are in um uh, but yeah, thanks for that. She, Najmi invited Komi to participate and she joined in on the fun. And she had so much fun that day that she could not even sleep. So now I imagine we're still in the field trip. I don't know if it's gonna be just the first skit, like coming back from the field trip, or it's gonna be the whole episode all still in the field trip. Only one way to find out. As a reminder, this is a timer reaction, which means you sync up your own version with mine and we'll watch it together. I'll try to add some scene here and there, but don't expect too much. And with that being said, let's get started. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Netflix and Netflix series. Oh. I do use this part to sync up because oh, it's all white the screen okay that was weird okay a free day sasaki and kato that's their name and for a second there, i thought they were holding the boards showing their names sasaki and kato sasaki and kato I'll try to remember those names. <laughs> All three of them are being very awkward. Just a second day of the future. I mean, comb is not really just talk. So I'm guessing you two. Just be careful not to leave her out of stuff. But like, everyone in this class has kind of like a trait to them. I still... Still don't know exactly what trait would they have. Wait, what? And I said Tokyo, but I guess Kyoto? I kind of forgot which one it is. And we're getting the opening play right now. Interesting that we're not having the opening play. <laughs> she just... Okay, there went to the USJ. Interesting. Heading there. Nice. Oh my god, Spider-Man. Well. Seems like they're having fun. <laughs> it walks fast. Jaws. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. She had to move, not because she was fearless, but because she was too afraid. What? Okay, so they just stayed in the park f for a little bit. Okay. I mean, as long as they had fun. I still want to try Takoyaki someday. Even though I'm not a big eater. 
Uh, okay, she's very strict with her schedule. She's just pacing back and forth. She heard, yep. <laughs> she heard so that they can keep going. They're going to be in transit anyway. They could have eaten it while in transit. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, she's super prepared. How's the deer gonna react? The cats weren't too much of a fan of her. The deer seems afraid so far. Oh, it's coming. And they're gonna take it. Okay. Okay, so they were going to Kyoto. So the the trips to Kyoto. There are plenty of seeds, isn't there? You're rushing. Oh, please don't tell me they're going to fight. Okay. Things got quiet. Oh, no, they are. Tell me. She was gonna talk. Yeah, good. Call me. It's <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I guess they don't know her social disorder, so they don't know why she doesn't really talk. But yeah, she made peace with them. Is it what she wants to go? <laughs> Let's run. Is it gonna be close soon? Yeah, I to rush. <laughs> They're definitely in the friends book. I was about to say, call me, look forward. <laughs> Put the Mikey movie land. Oh, this place was, looks nice. Wow, she went all out in the geisha outfit, huh? Even the hair. <laughs> yeah, everyone finds it appealing. Sasaki was close to her when it started. What is going on here? Okay. 
Okay, but... Oh, she went to the bathroom. And the classic music. <laughs> Is she gonna jump in there to try to help? Uh oh, what do you have there? Um, what do you have there? She's gonna put on. Oh my god! Oh, that's a mask. They'll. That's a person wearing the mask. They're opening. Oh, and the yo-yo. Oh, but now it makes sense. So Sasaki actually has a bigger appearance in the opening than I thought. Loop the loop. So is that her little unique trait? And she's kind of like, uh, she's still wearing the glove. You're kind of, you forgot to take away all the Okay, they pointed that out. Oh yeah, they got a lot done in the future. They're still thinking about that. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Check me. The mystery zone. So is that her unique trait? Nobody said about the mask. Or yo yo or championship. Uh huh. She's being very. Uh, offense like forward there we go mm -hmm. okay so she wants to be a, a shogi player I did hear about that in another anime I don't know why is there such a gap between male and female in shogi Considering, like, it's not even a physical sport or anything. So, your gender, your physical build shouldn't really affect anything. Your gender should not affect. Well, maybe it's just old traditions from all, all Asian times. <laughs> she tried to hit her with a heartfelt moment, but nope. Yep. 
Is she going to get her to admit it? And Hanya kind of mysterious up here in the room. Or is she just going to be embarrassed in the bathroom? Second option. We're getting some backstory with her. What's the problem with Yo-Yo? <laughs> Beyblade. I remember when I used to be into Beyblade when I was a kid. M me and my friends playing with Blade Beyblades, the arenas, like, oh my god. You're gonna okay i guess i was kind of right with both she was embarrassed in the bathroom and then anya came out of the bathroom <laughs> and she just took that name yeah she bought the mask And also this room is much like more comfortable than last night's room with everyone. Kobe is just taking it all in. But are they gonna get tired of the auto Komi? Oh, really? Did I call him Takai? I just realized I, I might have called him Takai. But yeah, Katai. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> okay, they know. But I don't think she's gonna. <laughs> oh my god. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Long silent pause. <laughs> She's starting to realize. She gonna admit it? Yeah. Uh, from Hito Hito. Person person. Hito Hito Tadano. Oh, oh no, she left her wound sword. No! Not Crescentium Blade of Darkness! Imagine buying a souvenir in your trip and then just 
having to leave it behind. Oh, that, that hurts. Of course she sleeps. She's a person. <laughs> a perfect superwoman that can't really talk. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has a different image of Komi. Her actual one's still pretty nice, but it's not as almighty as everyone puts it. What is that face? Oh. <laughs> Going to get that little involved. And hey! Kata, you can take his place near Katai, you know? Yeah. I was joking. I did not actually imagine this was actually going to happen. <laughs> what is the rumbling? Oh, okay. Sasaki. <laughs> Sit. Oh, and perfect moment she's falling onto his shoulder. And we're not getting the AD show animation either. Yeah, yeah, the book's up, upside down. A classic move of somebody that's nervous. Okay, now she's realizing that she likes, she actually has a crush on Tano. <laughs> yeah, they went a lot of different places. <laughs> they were kind of in a rush, so. Okay. Oh, okay, we're having the fo a photo shoot presentation. <laughs> While they eat its play. Oh, she did take some shots. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, she was so worried about her first field trip this time. She went with new people, and she had a lot of fun there. And once again, nice me jumping in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good question. So she actually brought that up later. Oh, we have a bonus scene. They return to their seats. And now, yeah. <laughs> 79 more to go. Okay, that was great with, with both of them. And so that was the end of the episode and the end of the field trip.
Now, this was actually great to actually know Kato and Sasaki, because we didn't really get to know them in the first episode. We got introduced to them in the beginning of the, the last episode, but this time we actually learned more about them. Kato is very planner, very tight schedule on point and it's also wanting to play shogi be a professional shogi player i believe she has like a famous uncle was it i don't remember what she was saying at the time but yeah so she had all that planning out when trying to unmask Sasaki. And Sasaki is a professional yo-yo player. He has been playing yo-yo since young, but because people were not into yo-yo anymore, were into Beyblade, she kind of was... What's the word for it? Um, Ashamed? Demoralized? Something along those lines. So she tried to hide her hobby, which is kind of like a profession, really. But once she saw Komi, then she tried to go in and help out. Of course, she tried to use a mask to hide it, but they kind of figure out. Also, doesn't help that she still had her glove on. But yeah, she tried to hide it, but... Then she showed them. Oh, something else about Kato. She has a crush on, Ka on Katai. Now, that's a little interesting there, because now we're seeing some other relationships and bonds getting involved. So, Katai was introduced in second in second four. Um, Kato was introduced in the second floor, and Kato likes Katai. <laughs> so that's interesting. We have Yamai kind of liking Komi. She likes her, but let's just ignore that. Um, we have Kato liking Komi, and though he doesn't really believe she would like him back, because she's so high and he considers himself so low that he doesn't consider. It's a true way street, so he just tries to hide it. But Komi did like Tadano, but now she learned that she actually has a crush on him. The moment she realized that, like processing everything they said, and the like, oh wait, that was adorable. Well, okay, maybe we'll see some more events in there, because she did admit that she likes, I don't know, she put an H there, showing who she has a crush on, her first name. <laughs> and her sleeping on his shoulder and waking up, like, trying to see the warmth on his shoulder from her, trying to check for Drew, like, that was... Yeah, somebody in love. Um, what else can we get out of this episode? We saw the tight schedule that Kato was making. Komi actually was able to get close to an animal. Not like the cats, but the deer took the time but finally approached her. They all had a lot of fun together in a lot of different places. And yeah, I think that's all of it. I think this whole episode was about her second day of the trip with Kato and Sasaki. So, it was a good episode to get to know them more. We kind of needed that to not just be like average people in class. So we got to know a bit more about them. They did bond between them as well. Sasaki does have that little mean streak there trying to put Komi, she game, came up with a plan of putting Komi and Tato together, and then she also, as a extra, put Kato next to Katai. 
<laughs> Look, you told me who you have a crush on. You think I wouldn't capitalize on that? <laughs> but yeah, kind of nice to know that you owe them. And Komi made two new friends. But that's it for this episode. And sorry it's late, because I was out of internet yesterday. But with that being said, see you next time. Bye!